Oh, we've got a little corn to harvest in the background. Nice sunny day. We want to get going with this and one of the most important things that we're focused on and one reason why we like to raise corn on our farm is because it helps improve and helps build soil organic matter. Well, organic matter is just a huge factor in crop production and you know recently Brent I bought some ground that has virtually no organic matter and this is a primary focus for me. How can I build my organic matter up in my soil? We're going to talk today about how important organic matter is and how you can control the levels of organic matter in your ground. Okay, let's start in terms of dollars and cents. One of the things that happens with organic matter is as it breaks down there's something called mineralization. And when that organic matter goes through the mineralization process, it releases nutrients that your next crop can use. So for every 1% of organic matter each year, you're going to get about 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen. You're gonna get about four to seven pounds of phosphorus and two to three pounds of sulfur. So if you had, let's say 7% organic matter, just think of all the nutrients that are available compared to Darren's where he's oh, got maybe 1.5% organic matter. Just rub it well, in. Well, I, I, the whole point is, if you had the choice and you had two identical fields side by side, the only difference was one had five and a half percent organic matter and the other had one and a half percent organic matter which one would you buy well the one that has more organic matter is definitely worth more well, money. yeah so but hold is, up hold up how many times have you ever gotten a soil test when you go to buy land never okay nobody ever looks at that we don't talk about that yet it's one of the most important things on the farm and that's why we're discussing it today okay so let's just say that you have lower levels of organic matter and really a lot of our neighbors have got two percent maybe three percent organic well, matter even levels. some of even some of our ground that we've only had just until recently we just haven't built that organic matter up yet the way to build that organic matter level up well it's really twofold one you want to do less tillage the more tillage you do the faster your organic matter breaks down in your soil so doing less tillage will help build those organic matter levels. And why? I mean, is it all the residue above ground or what's causing that organic matter to build? Well, the big thing for building organic matter is really the root mass of the crop. So you have to choose crops that are going to produce a tremendous amount of root mass. For us on our farm, being primarily corn and soybeans, corn has five times the root mass of soybeans, so that's a better choice for us if we're trying to build levels up. Well, once you've got that organic matter built up, it's great. And you say, oh, I'm going to get a bunch of free nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, but the problem is you're not going to get free potassium. You just don't get potassium out of all that organic matter and you might say, well that doesn't make sense because I thought there was all kinds of potassium left in any residue that I would have out in the field. Yeah, there is. So a lot of that will break down real easily. That'll be available right away. It doesn't ever turn into organic matter. A lot of the potassium that's in the soil is actually in feldspars or basically rock. So I always tell people, yeah, you might have lots of potassium in the soil, but do you really think that rock is going to come available in the real in the real near future? I don't think so. It takes <laughs> rock a long time to break down. Well, when you think about organic matter, you're focusing on the nutrients that yep. it's going to hold. I'm thinking about the water. I've got some hilly ground, some lighter soils. I want to just hold more water in my soil. And with organic matter, for every 1% increase in organic matter I can achieve, I'll hold 4% more water. Well, that's a big deal to me. If I'm getting you know, 20 to 25 inches of rain on a normal year, if I can hold 4% more, that could mean more bushels to me in the fall. Yeah, so you think about it. If, let's say, over your 30-year farming career, you're able to build up organic matter levels in your fields by just say 3%. That's definitely achievable over a 30 year period if you manage things right. And if you increase by 3%, that means 12% more water holding capacity. Do you think you'll get higher yields with 12% more water? Do you think you'll be more drought proof? Absolutely. Your ground is worth more money if it contains more organic matter. Well, just strictly due to the tilth of that soil as well. You've just got healthier, darker soils in our case. And when we've got healthy black soils, we've got more microbes that are surviving in the soil, earthworms, all of these things that keep that whole system moving. And if I can increase my soil life, I'm definitely going to increase the crop production on that ground as well. So the point is, if you've got low organic matter soils today, don't fret. I mean, that's just the way it goes. You've got to work on a strategy to build that organic matter level over time by doing less tillage, planting high residue crops, and when you do that, over the long haul, you're going to have more nutrients available, you're going to have more water holding capacity. It's a great thing. But the problem is, will it solve our Weed of the Week problem? I don't think so. We'll tell you what will, coming up later in the show.